Hey all, it's Aurelius, hope you've been well. Did you know with Canva, you can now upload files such as your PowerPoint presentations, your spreadsheets, and even your Word docs. Let me show you. What you're looking at is a 60 page ebook that I uploaded. It was in a Word document format. You can see that it's retained the table of contents. We've got images, we've got text, chapters, and much more. Here's another example of an ebook that was also in a doc form. Table of contents have remained, everything else as well. This one here is a spreadsheet. I did make a few modifications because uploading a spreadsheet isn't yet perfect. And this one right here is a PowerPoint presentation that I uploaded. Now you may be thinking, what's the whole point of being able to upload to Canva? Well, once you've uploaded your documents, your presentations or sheets, you can now modify whatever it is in a design format using Canva's powerful tools and features. So you can see with this chapter here, we can now edit all the text we want. So this is an example. And you can very well add things like elements and shapes. So let's say we want to add this right here. We can add it in right there. And again, using Canva's features. So if that all sounds good, let me show you how it works. The first thing you're going to want to do is to log in to your Canva account. You won't need a Canva Pro account unless of course you want to start adding Canva Pro elements, features, stock photos and fonts. But once you're logged in, you'll see your dashboard, you'll see your projects. Now, what you need to have ready are the files or the file that you want to upload and modify in Canva. I've got a few files here to show you as an example. The files that are supported by Canva's new import feature include files such as a doc file, whether that's from a Microsoft Word file or a Google doc file. There's also open office. You can also upload PowerPoint files as well as spreadsheets. A little fine print though, when uploading spreadsheets, you don't get the ability to add formulas and do those calculations. But let me show you examples of all formats in this video. Let's start off by uploading a doc file. Now, when I say a doc file, it could be from Microsoft Word or Google Docs or an alternate software. Here's my doc file, have your doc file ready. All you need to do then is simply drag and drop anywhere on your main Canva account. So it'll automatically go under your designs here, wait for it to upload. Now it's uploaded. You may not see a preview thumbnail, but that's fine. Let's go click that thumbnail once right here. Now that the doc file is open, you can see that it's retained 62 pages, which is what the original had. And now all that really needs to be done is to customize and edit it all based on my creativity and imagination. You'll see here, there's some text I can edit add anything I want. But as a little side note, Canva only supports up to 100 pages per design. And when I say design, this is one design that you're seeing right now. So you're limited to 100 pages. In this case, we've got 62 pages. However, if you do have a, an ebook or a document that is more than 100 pages, there is a little fix to this and I'll link it up in this card right here. And you can view that so that you can see how to go about, you know, going exceeding that 100 page limit. Once you are done with all your customizations and edits, you can download it as a PDF by clicking download and choosing either PDF print or PDF standard and you're good to go. Okay, let's go through the next example, which is a PowerPoint file. I've got my PBTX file. That's the format from uh, PowerPoint and I'll, I'll just simply drag and drop it again. Now the PowerPoint files uploaded, I'll click once on it and there you have the PowerPoint modify anything you want. You can add and animate your slides. You can see the different types of animations. And again, using Canva's features and tools. You can even present your slides using Canva's present feature. So you've got present and also present and record, which also records yourself or your voice or none at all if you wanna do that. But let's say you want to simply present, you can click on the present button. Choose the type, do you want a standard, autoplay, presenter view, or one of these other options. But let's select standard and now present. It's gone into full screen and now I can present my presentation. All right, with this next example, let's try to add a spreadsheet, but there's a little fine print here. Again, when you upload a spreadsheet, you can't do things like formulas and rules and things like that or filtering. It's purely just to upload your spreadsheet so then you can actually design your actual spreadsheet and make it the way you want. I've got two examples here, one that is more complex while the other one is very simple. Let's try the complex one first, drag and drop it. Here it is, let's click it. Now that it's open, you can see what it looks like. It already looks pretty messy and it definitely didn't retain the original spreadsheet. For 
contrast, you know, this is the original spreadsheet. That's how it should be, should look like. Now let's try a more simple spreadsheet like this one right here. I'll drag and drop it. And there you have the spreadsheet. It didn't quite retain some of the columns and the headings there. You got date and metric one, which should actually be on this column right here. So at the time of this recording, I wouldn't recommend uploading any type of spreadsheet because you saw I uploaded just a simple spreadsheet and it still couldn't retain it. But I know that they will update this and it is technically in beta form. Where I see Canva really excel at is in the import of docs and PowerPoint presentations with those new import features. And did you know you can also upload PDF files? I've got a, another video on that if you wanna look in the description box below, really handy. But those are the types of files at the moment that I would recommend you upload if that is the route you wanna take. One format that I wish they supported is Photoshop PSD files. I know it's a long shot and perhaps later down the track, but because of the complexity, it's not really possible. Hopefully that will be a feature in the future because I can see so many uses of it. All right, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this little update. Let me know in the comments if you'll be using this new import feature to upload your doc files, your PowerPoint presentations, and if you want your spreadsheets too. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.